Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is lecture five, and uh, basically it's the first part of it. And in today's lecture in AutoCAD Basics course, we're going to talk about uh, the AutoCAD line type and the line type scale and then the line weight. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, start up a new file and then uh, pick up AutoCAD ISO. And before I start, I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, just specify the units and double check if we are working in a millimeter environment. I'll hit OK and then draw a line. Let's go with F8 and then, uh, you know, let's say a 5,000 length. So that's my, my 5 meter or 5,000 millimeter uh, uh, line that I want to use, let's say, for example, as a grid or axis. So I need to select that guy and apply for him a line type here that reflect the dash dot dash or ref reflect the grid or the center line that we are all know. Uh, how it look like and when we go we don't find anything it's been loaded and we just have a continuous or by layer or by block which is all by a beginning of a startup file just a continuous line so to do fix this issue we need to hit lt which is the shortcut for line type command and then we hit the space and from the pop-up dialog box i can go ahead for the load and then choose this you know long dash dot that's for the center line or grid Hit OK and then OK. Now we just load it from AutoCAD library to this file library, not to the line itself. So I have to select that guy again and then go from the property panel from the line type field and I can change it to make it, uh, you know, the, the selected dash dot. Uh, I know there is another method like uh, depending on layers to apply line type for a massive group of objects. But for now, I'll just start up by this method. Now, as you noticed, uh, I didn't see anything in here. Uh, some of you might see uh, the line that appears, but anyway, in both cases, we need to fix it. So you need to go LTS, which is the line type scale. That's a global line type scale. It's a command that apply for all line type uh, for all objects in the same time in this file. So now it's have the factor of one. It's a good idea to increase by 10 or reduce by the factor of division on 10. And uh, let's go from 1 to 10, for example, and then to 100 and then 1,000 until we see the good results. So probably with 10, you will get a really good and suitable result, as you can see. If it doesn't, you can go to a, a 50 or a 100 and so on and so on. Probably in our case, 20 will be the best. So if you hit LTS, you try 1, that's the basic thing, then 10 then 100 and then 1000 or the other way around going 0.1 then 0.01 and so on that for example a 5 meter or 5000 millimeter in a millimeter unit if I go and start up a new file again and pick AutoCAD ISO and before I start I change the units sorry the units to meters instead and draw a 5 meter line of course, I need F8, like that. That's my 5 meters. Now, if I go LT and load the load the line type again, because I need to do so, that's a new file, if you will remember. Selecting that, applying the line type to it. Now, I hit go LTS, and, you know, hit 10, space, nothing, enter again to repeat it, 100, nothing enter again to repeat LTS command and 1000 and nothing again so probably we're gonna go to 0.1 instead and immediately we can see the difference probably if we go 0.01 you're gonna get the better result so it depends on what type of unit and the length of the line that you need to understand so you can you know fully comprehend what type of line type scale to apply remember for example if you applied to the same line type to a really long line like this is a five if i want to go ahead and hit that for a, like a 1000 and then use ma match property to take the property of that line to this line so it's okay to see them both on that but on that view part of the viewport so if i double click on the scroll to make zoom extend notice that i will not see this as a line type for the overall thing you know that that is not being shown here and I need to keep zooming for half an hour in order to see it so but 
in that scale, you cannot see it because it was fit and best designed for that specific scale. So in order to fix this, you either go to LTS and start changing the line type to make it one and it will be shown in that scale. But again, if you zoom in, it will not be fixed or shown in that. This is the case where you need to select that guy and go to the line type scale, the individual set for line type scale and change it to make it, you know, uh, something smaller in order to change that into a something or a line type scale that you can actually see. And remember that this is going to be multiplied, that this number, the, the individual, going to be multiplied by the global line type scale. Sorry, the LTS. So it's going to be multiplied by that number, which is 1, to get the individual value for the line type scale. In a simple word, that LTS will be applied for all the lines, including the one that you actually had another factor or multiplying factor to it. Now, that's, that's for example, how you know, like, uh, deal with the line type. Sometimes when you zoom in and zoom out for the everything, you zoom back down to some, now it's not happening, unfortunately. Uh, you find that, I noticed that in some, when I was teaching in the, in the, in the computer lab at Ajman University, I, I noticed some of the students when they zoom in, they zoom out and then they zoom in again, the smaller line type will be disappearing. In this case, guys, you need to hit RE regenerate, you know, and hit the space in order to manage to re or force AutoCAD to regenerate the line type and the line type scale for that line. AutoCAD again have a different line type library, and uh, you can you can access uh, those types, you know, by selecting a different method dash dot hidden line or whatever you call it, and then you can select that guy and you know apply for it a different line type, and probably it's not being shown on that, so you have to make that in let's say 0.1, and you're gonna start seeing this uh, as a line type correctly. That's about. That's all about the line type and the line type scale. Now, uh, probably we need to talk a little bit about uh, line weight. So, if you uh, if you notice when we draw uh, the walls, uh, that we will probably be in need to you know have uh, some kind of different pen thickness, and that's what happened in reality for uh, you know the ability to draw. Uh, you know, like a cut wall or a cut, uh, cut element or a cut column. In, in this specific case, you have to select the objects and you go to the line weight here and you, you see that there's different pens or different thickness for each line. We call that line weight here in, in, in AutoCAD. The default value is 0 0.25. If you pick up anything thicker, let's go 0 0.4 for example, that line will be thicker than the default and will be shown when you print it or when you see it in the viewport as a thicker line. So probably if you draw that line, which is have the default value of the line weight here, and this guy which is have 0.4, now you probably notice that there is no any, no any type of indication that this is a thicker than that. Of course when you print you're going to see that thicker, but in order to show the line weight in the screen, you need to activate the LW command here, line weight, and press on the display line weight uh, button in order you can see that line is thicker than that one. Now when I draw another line and then apply something, you know, you know, really thick, like something like, uh, I don't know, like 0.7, you're going to notice that this is thicker than that and that and so on and so on. So probably columns, maybe we give them uh, the most thick uh, or the biggest line weight, maybe probably 0.4. Uh, walls, maybe a cut wall, we give them 0.3 and the, the rest of the document we can hit the default value of 0.25, probably the hatch, uh, probably the elevated part of the tiles dimension could be sometimes goes for 0.15 or 0.09 or 0.05 uh, it depends on how fine a good printer you have again probably uh, you might find those uh, painful for your eyes the line weight i mean so probably uh, you can go lw and just turn off that in the viewport only here and uh, when you print, uh, it will be shown uh, correctly without having a problem. You see, that's the line weight off. But when you print, you're going to see the line weight while you're printing. 
I wish that you find this short video uh, useful uh, to explain uh, the, the line type and the line type scale and the line weight for uh, for us and then it might might be sorry it might find that useful for you and we're gonna need that guys uh, to you know practice the second part of lecture five which was how we draw uh, a plan uh, based on the existence of a grid so that's why I explained this because we need uh, a we, we need something to represent a correct center line or grids uh, in order to proceed by uh, to proceed with the drawing plans by this method. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I wish you uh, having a good night. Bye bye.